Good afternoon. It's test day, everybody. <gasps> hey, y'all. <laughs> Today was another one of those long days. Oh, let me get these shoes off. Just trying to get a little bit more comfortable. <sighs> okay. So it is. 11.06 p.m. I probably just spent an hour downstairs at the bar talking to our VP of talent and in flight. Coolest British lady I ever met. Like, I don't think I, any of the previous companies I worked at, I could just sit at a bar and talk to our VP of anything. Like, love this company. But anyways, we started class at 12.30 p.m. today. Well, technically, we weren't supposed to start at 1, but the instructors got a mix-up on our schedule, so they didn't show up until 1 while we were sitting there at 12.30. Um, we had a KSV, and wait, was today our last one? No, 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 today wasn't our last one. Wait, wait, wait. Do I have one tomorrow? Oh, sweet Jesus. I have no idea. I gotta look at my schedule. Um, but anyways, had a KSV today. I got a 95. Um, so that was really good. And then we um, got together with the AM class. And we did a safety module ILT with a guy from the safety department. Went over that stuff. And then we went over our IOEs, which mine is on Saturday. We'll be meeting our IOE instructors tomorrow. They kind of give like a mini briefing on how that's going to go. And then we'll get an in-depth briefing on how that will be tomorrow. Um, my memory is so bad, it's insane. And then we went over what I really wanted to know about, which is our EMEs. So I think I was telling you all that we'll be paired up with um, a crew they'll make a crew depending on what plane we're on so I got my crew today we're gonna be on the I'll be doing my EME on the E190 um, plane so that only calls for two in-flight crew members aka flight attendants and I'm paired up with my girl Tati so thankful um, I have faith in pretty much everybody that's currently in our class that they comprehend and can do the job well but, you know, you sit in class with certain people and you just kind of know who you wouldn't necessarily want to do a um, test with. Basically, an EME is a, a test, making sure that you know what you're doing. So I was hoping and praying that they didn't pair me up with a few people in the class because they just don't take everything as serious as I need to take them. And that would be, that is my last step to getting my wings and I don't need nobody messing it up. So, I was ecstatic to see that they paired me with Tati. Um, she's great. Great, great, great. Um, she's actually wants to eventually be a pilot, so she's very knowledgeable about a lot of things. Um, our knowledge levels um, about the stuff that we've been learning and the way we grasp concepts quickly um, match. So, when we saw the paper, we just ran to each other and gave each other a hug and were like, thank God. So... That should be a breeze. Now we just kind of have to basically run through every evacuation scenario, fire scenario, unplanned plan, decompression, opening and closing doors, medical. Um, I have a list of everything that they said could potentially be on our IOE. So we'll just have to basically run through all of those scenarios and be mentally prepared and have it fresh on our mind so whenever they we get to our EME and they say okay this is a scenario we'll be able to knock it out real quick and no no retries just get it done so tomorrow is our oh wait so after we did that so we had the safety ILT we did the IOE we did the EME review. Oh, and then we had graduation practice. That was so fun. And the way they did it was so cute. 
So that's exciting. It's just really crazy that it, we are really down to the last few days here. I'm making it, y'all. I'm making it. I'm, I'm trucking. No stopping me now. Um, so yeah, that was good. And then we did our medical ILT instructor-led training. Um, so we went over CPR, um, what we do with certain medical issues, how to, um, um, how to figure out what type of issues a patient may be having, whether that's a seizure or hyperventilating or diabetes. Um, just, you know, all kind of medical issues. I'm sorry, my brain is like, I'm dead. I'm so tired right now. Um, so we went over that. So tomorrow we'll have our MSVs over um, CPR and first aid or whatever medical needs on an adult and a child. Um, and then I believe we have, a, we have a KSV tomorrow too. I know we do. I guess it's over medical also. <laughs> it's really insane that I do not know what I'm testing over tomorrow right now, but that's just how long these days get. And that just really shows you that I honestly do not look ahead. Like, I really don't. You look ahead and you just you get, you get confused. So I guess I'll look at that tonight to see what I should be preparing for. Um, one of our instructors today, she was like, y'all, please do not get senioritis. It happens to everybody. You've made it this far. Just make sure that you stay on top of the last few things we got to get through and we can get those wings. So they know we're tired. They know we're tired of waking up and studying and coming to class late and learning. And they know it. They understand it. They've all been through it themselves. So I just got to hold on. Just got to hold on a few more days. Like literally today is Wednesday. Next week, Tuesday, I'll be done. I'll have my wings. I'm hopping on planes. Actually, I'm going to hop on a plane to go to Houston, Texas and lay in my bed with my dogs and relax. Um, and then I'll probably end up going to New York maybe a day or so early, just depending on what my schedule actually is, um, to find the crash pad because... It's like, finding a crash pad has just been blah. Like, I don't know if it's because, you know, I'm a little older than a lot of the people in my class. And I'm not that old. I'm only 29 years old. So, I'm not old at all. But, we had, we started off with a total of 75 people. And, I think I fall at like number 15, 16 on our seniority list. So that just tells you that if I'm 29, a lot of the people below me are just like way younger. So me and uh, my friend that we want to live together or find a crash pad together, she's 40. Um, so we both just kind of have it in our mind that, you know, we want somewhere that's going to be a little more homely. And, you know, we're looking for certain things. I guess that just comes with age that I and the fact that I'm a realtor it's very hard for me just to hop into somebody's house or any type of living situation without knowing all the details. So, but the hour talk that we had with um, our VP of talent in flight tonight, she really just eased our mind. She went through the in-flight training. She said uh, more than five years ago and she knows the pressure and how intense it was and she was just telling us that she was proud of us um and she was like you know to be honest i never had to live in a crash pad but you know from being in this industry for so long and seeing other people go through it she just gave us some really solid and great advice which we already knew in the back of our heads but we're just overthinking the situation at the end of the day so I'll find somewhere to lay my head. Hopefully it's somewhere decent. Hopefully it's not like rats or anything crawling around. Like, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, finding a crash pad. Woo! That's honestly the only thing about this career that I am not looking forward to. And all the medical emergencies and things like that that can happen. Um, but speaking of that, 
once again, I've told y'all that I don't like thinking about or talking about all the negative things that could possibly happen. And of course, learning medical emergencies and what we do in case of situations. Started talking about people dying on planes and blase, blase, blase. And I was just like, oh my God. I don't know what I would do. Well, I guess I do know what I would do. I would follow protocol, but just like mentally and emotionally, like somebody dying on a plane, pilots don't necessarily divert for a death on a plane. Like they will just let the dead person sit there in the seat and just be dead. <laughs> that was kind of mind boggling to me today. I was like, say what? So yeah this career is I'm, I'm so looking forward to it because it's probably going to be the best time that I've ever had in my life I'm probably going to learn more things than I've learned in my full 29 years in this next year of being an in-flight crew member so I'm happy I'm ready for this portion of it to be over so I can start the next portion of it and just experience 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 everything so if you all are watching these videos and this is a dream of yours, um, please look into it. Go to the websites that um, are hiring or list all the airlines that are hiring. Um, just, you know, make, make your dreams come true. Like, it's definitely worth it. Um, I've tried very hard in these videos to give you a true candid um, look at what in-flight training or flight attendant training is because you know when I was watching videos everybody was showing the great side of things and and all the travels but I kept hearing about how intense training could be so that's why I put these videos out here but I definitely don't do it to discourage you or make you think that it's not possible because it's it's definitely possible if if some of these people around here are doing it you can do it too so definitely get online and start hiring um i know today i saw united airlines is hiring um they're another great airline mainline airline um their starting off pay is really good benefits are really good there so if that's something that you're interested in and today is let me look let me tell y'all hold on today is july 19th 2017 so get online to united i believe american airlines is still hiring my airline can't tell you which one but go check my previous video you should be able to figure it out um they will be hiring again i believe in october october 1st i think i'll definitely update you when it when it does happen um I know some regional airlines like SkyWest and things like that are constantly hiring. So please, like, if this is really a dream of yours, make it happen. Um, it's definitely doable. You just have to stay focused. It took me years. I've been wanting to do this since I graduated college in 2010. So it's 2017 now. So obviously you all see how long it took, but you know, just stay persistent through your process and if it's not happening don't give up because it's definitely worth the time that you wait that's what i figured out already and i'm not even flying yet so that's all i got for tonight y'all i'm dead i just want to go to sleep i want to eat my leftover pasta um watch a little tv i think queen sugar comes on tonight i watch a lot of tv yes i know um and just sleep and tomorrow is our last day of official actual class class we finish all of our tests tomorrow so i can't wait i cannot wait it's going to be the best feeling ever and then the next best feeling is going to be the day next week tuesday when i cross the stage and get those wings pinned on me so good night um oh yeah one quick other note we have to wear our uniforms tomorrow we get uniform compliance checked tomorrow so i'll show y'all a little video of what i'm um what i'll be wearing tomorrow um i don't know if i should wear the pants or the dress or the skirt so let
let me know what you think I should wear. Um, obviously, this video won't be posted by then, but you'll just be able to see what I did wear. Um, see if you can connect with me and see what type of girl I really am. Am I a skirt girl? Am I a pet girl? Am I a dress girl? Who knows? <laughs> Good night, y'all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Like, seriously, though, with the likes. Thank you all. I'm, 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 thank you. Oh, yeah. And if that bell is there, ding it. I don't know where it is. I don't know when it's going to come up, but just ding it if you see it. Okay? Good night.